yes, Yamex is once more late to the party, but nevertheless, I feel the need to weigh in on the topic of Elite Dangerous and the recent cheating issues. So, to recap, a while back, while I was having fun making a documentary type video for Counter-Strike, a Reddit thread and subsequent videos and forum threads cropped up about the actual state of Elite Dangerous and how easy it is to cheat or hack in it with rather simple and known tools. In the past, I've heard from multiple sources the rampancy of both hacking game variables like ship speed, shields, and whatnot else, and the botting, that is, letting an algorithm or a bot play the game for you, was enormous. Frankly, I could not believe that anyone would go out and actually try to influence a BGS or power play with this, but apparently it's more common than seeing a combat pilot using hacks. I could not believe that people would actually care enough about this background numbers and letters non-gameplay so much that they would actually go and start botting. I mostly could not believe this because this part of the gameplay I simply hate and find amazingly boring. But okay. The Reddit thread I'll post down below in the description, so please go read it or at least gloss over it. It's quite interesting. Now, in wake of publicizing this information and making it more known among users, only now development team makes a statement. And I really won't bother reading it or putting on a silly voice for it, because it is a bog standard PR response. And means nothing. It really doesn't. I don't want to be negative on this, but nothing really will be done about cheating at this point. Well, nothing much at least. See, the devs are working on the biggest update ever! With the A-team, and people free to work on other things, well, are quite sparse. Plus, unfortunately, it is in Frontier Development's MO to do nothing. Even at best of times, we can expect only a reactionary move. And that's definitely not the way to go forward. <sighs> I really wish to be proven wrong, which is why I'm being so... me today. Anyways, why do I think that nothing's gonna be done? Well, past evidence speaks volumes. See, this thing called combat logging. The act of task killing or pulling a plug has been a massive bugbear of the ganking slash PvP community for years. And though known and widely reported individuals have been reported countless times, they still roam free without so much as a warning. Not even a warning from developers. Even though this particular action has been clearly defined by developer team as an exploit and bannable offense for divorced offenders, yet again, not even warnings have been issued. How do I know this? Well, just look at the Reddit and forums. If issuing warnings would be a thing, then you would at least from time to time see someone asking questions about it or showcase these things, but no, not even warnings. The next issue of Elite Development Team's apparent apathy comes from the last big event, the Distant Worlds 2. While this is not exclusive to this event, it was the last big thing. What I'm talking about is the reinstatement of lost assets by developers. Yes. So, from time to time, an unlucky commander after losing their ship and whatever assets in the game could contact Frontier support staff and get back all that stuff. This is an absolutely good thing when the game crashes and it's somehow game's fault and not the player's. And hey, maybe from time to time giving back the assets of a newbie who didn't really know what he was doing, fine, that's all good. But the problem comes from doing this to anyone who asks. Now, I must preface this with the word rumor, but trusted sources, multiple, had told yours truly that either they or their friends received their ships or money back for rebuys after getting ganked during Distant Worlds 2 event. And these players certainly were no newbies. See, this event was a player-led exploration trip that was, and is to this day, the biggest one. And of course, players created private groups to host these big jumps or gatherings. Now, private groups are invite slash acceptance only, and the creator can kick anyone. There are no special rules for these games, but some players have taken up the mantle of setting their own, well, kind of a rule, like no PvP and whatnot else, but enforcing it is left to the players. Anyways, obviously there were gankers who reveled in the opportunity to kill lots of defenseless ships, which they did. So, if you were one of those unlucky ones who played in the non-PvP player group and got killed by a ganker, and you would ask for a rebuy from developers, you would get it. 
You know, now that I think of it, I probably shouldn't describe these private group rules as rules. I mean, they're really just a gentleman's agreement and not a rule, but you get the point. Anyways, the question comes along. If developers normally would not interfere or acknowledge these private group player said gentlemen's agreements as something they should act on, why would they suddenly change their minds and help out the losing side? See, at the time, this event was gaining wider gaming public side and good PR was coming for the game. So, to keep everyone positive, developers allegedly, mind you again, this is a rumor, reinstated lost ships and money for the people who lost these in-game resources in the fair and designed way. Obviously, having a ganker or ganker group for their evil deeds be spotted by the gaming media would be bad PR, so let's limit it as much as possible while disregarding the designed gameplay. You know, if the rumors are true, then, well, there's one word that would describe all of this, and that's HYPOCRISY! So then, circling back to the hacks and cheats used by a lot of accounts, would anything be done about it? Well, if it gains enough negative press, yes! Frontier have shown an interest in public perception in the past, rather than the actual game's state. So the more sting can be risen by the true state of things, of all things, the sooner we can expect a positive change, even if it is motivated by pure corporate PR interest. See, Elite Dangerous is first such multiplayer game that Frontier has ever had, so the concept of dealing with cheaters and hacks should not be passive. The fact that combat logging is so rampant and not even punished alone shows that developers are not even capable of dealing with their own set rules. And if the distant worlds thing is to be believed, they will go as far as to break the game as long as it benefits them, disregarding designed outcome for the players. I truly am shocked at how poorly and passively Elite Dangerous is handled. Even if the next Elite game is near the horizon. Or was that the next update? Eh, whatever. Even if that's the case, doing nothing, well, invites more script kiddies and hacksaws. It also sends us a strong message that as long as we generate good PR, we are allowed to do whatever and the negative stuff, though it will get the devs doing something, it won't be for the good of us, the players. So, let's raise some stink, share the video around and all that good stuff. I seriously want the PR team and dev team to be more active, as this is not the only issue. Still, what do you think? I definitely would like to take a look at what you have to say, so leave a comment down below.